Stoichiometry practice worksheet number one, problem one. Several brands of antacid tablets use aluminum hydroxide to neutralize excess acid. And here we have a chemical equation showing aluminum hydroxide reacting with three moles of hydrochloric acid to produce aluminum chloride and three moles of water. What quantity of HCl in grams can a tablet with 0 0.750 grams of aluminum hydroxide consume? What quantities of water is produced? So we have a chemical equation here that we just went over. They're asking for a quantity of hydrochloric acid in grams. We are given a tablet with 0.75 grams of aluminum hydroxide. Also, we want to know the quantity of water produced. Let's start out by writing our given. 0 0.750 grams of aluminum hydroxide, ALOH3, multiplication sign and a line. So my goal here is to convert to grams of hydrochloric acid. But before I can do that, I need to think about how I'm going to approach this. So I'm going to start out with the AP Chemistry mantra of converting to moles. The gram formula mass of ALOH3 is 78 grams ALOH3 for every one mole of ALOH3. So I've converted from grams to moles at this point, but I don't want to be in moles of aluminum hydroxide. I want to get to hydrochloric acid. So this middle step here is going to be converting from moles of ALOH3 to moles of HCl. Now this is a really important step right here because this is the transition point of working with aluminum hydroxide and going to hydrochloric acid. The numbers that go in these spaces come from our balanced equation up here. So I look at the coefficient in front of HCl and I see that is 3. So the 3 is going to go on top. I look at the aluminum hydroxide and I see that the coefficient is an assumed 1, so the 1 is going to go on the bottom. I don't want to be in moles of HCl, I want to be in grams of HCl. So I know that for every 1 mole of HCl, there is around 36.45 grams of HCl. The next step here is to cancel my units. So I want to go through and say grams cancel grams, moles cancel moles, moles of HCl cancels moles of HCl, and I'm left with my final unit of grams of hydrochloric acid, which is what the problem is asking for here. When I work this out, I want this to three significant figures because my given, my 0.750 is to three significant figures, so I want my answer to be to three significant figures. So when I work this out, this is going to be 1.05 grams of HCl. The other question that is asked here is the quantity of water produced. We're going to assume that quantity of water is in grams, although it's not specified. In this case, again, we're going to start with our given. 0.750 grams of ALOH3. Like we did in the step above, I'm going to convert it into moles. So 78 grams of ALOH3 is equal to one mole of ALOH3. Middle step here, again, is going to be a mole-to-mole -mole conversion. So I want to go from moles of ALOH3 to moles of H2O. The numbers here, again, will come from the coefficients in front of the chemical formulas that we see in the balanced equation. So like I stated before, there's an assumed 1 in front of the ALOH3, so there's a 1 here, and in front of the water, it's going to be a 3. So we're going to have a 3 on top. Finally, our last step, even though it was not specified in the problem, we're going to turn it into grams. So we have a mass to mass problem. I know that for every one mole of H2O, I'm going to have a gram formula mass of 18 grams of water. 
Now, of course, like usual, I am going to check my units. Grams cancels grams, moles cancel moles, moles of water cancels moles of water, and I am left with the unit that I want of 18 grams of water. And now I'm left with a unit of grams of water. So when I work this problem out, and again, the first thing I should do is check the, my significant figures. I have three significant figures to start with. So just to point out that my answer should have three significant figures. So my final answer when worked through will be 0 0.520 grams of H2O.